Well, hello folks. I thought I would just make a quick video today. Got a few little jobs need doing. But I tell you what, it's glorious sunshine. It's the hottest day we've had so far this year. Up here in the northeast anyway. It's bloody lovely. I haven't brought Addy with us for two reasons. Um, one, it's too hot for her to lie here. And um, secondly, she hurt her paw the other day and she couldn't hardly walk, uh, which was a nightmare. I thought something was really wrong, you know. She, uh, she kept collapsing on her back leg. Anyway, it's, I've rested off. I've took her around the block earlier on, so she's in the house there, uh, resting up. So she'll be back soon, no doubt. So anyway, like I say, there's a few little jobs I can do, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Still cracking on at the allotment. Get the kettle on. It's Dave at the allotment. See you in a bit. Well, one job I can be getting on with. All these peas need coming out now. Because they're going to air. Uh, they're going to go to the seed. I don't want them to do that. So I'm going to crack on. Ray's next door there. Crack it on as well. I'll see him in a bit. Well, that's one plant just about all stripped. I'll get on with the other one. See you in a bit. Well, that's the peas done for the year. Got quite a few. I'll show you later. Because there's a few more things I need doing. I'm going to put them, all of the pea plant, into the compost bin. I'll get that done now. And I think there's a few of these beans need pulling as well. So. I'll get on with that. I tell you what, it's a lovely day of the day. Doing things like this is never a chore on days like this. Just sitting listening to the birds and what have you. Pretty great. Well, I'll back and have a look to see what Ray's been doing here. He's got the spirit level out. Making everything gay, square and ship shape. There you go. Just a little nudge to the side sorted ah, it's a big greenhouse this it's just been having to make some adjustments because tw what was it supposed to be 12 by 8 yeah and it's not it's 12 and 3 quarters 12 foot 3 12 foot eight 3 foot 3 outside aye it's, it's so just, that was told it was 8 by 12 by 8 inside. Yeah. Yeah, outside one. Yeah, they've just measured with the windows, haven't they? 6 2 by 
two windows along and eight, eight, four long. But that's not how things are measured, are they? <laughs> anyway, you're it's getting on a, there. It's not a problem. No problem. Not on a day like this in any way, eh? Ah, it's, I keep saying this, but it's quite rare that we get a nice day up here. I think I'm going to have a little bit of a sunbathe. <laughs> Well, it's nice to sit in the shade a bit, get some cabbages. I'm going to sow some cabbages here in the shade with my new stupid gardening hat on. Because everyone's got to have a stupid gardening hat. I'm just filling up these toilet roll tubes. So I've saved up quite a few since the last time. Not too late to get the get things sown like cabbages for the winter. Get them in. Especially with it being such a late season. It's easy enough to do as well. So these are Primo Golden Acre Get them in That's what I do, make a little hole with my finger Halfway down, that's half an inch With my hands like I keep saying it but it's lovely this weather apparently we're going to get it tomorrow though and I think yous down south have already got it torrential rain just what we need eh thunderstorms and all that I have been trying to get some footage of that uh, meteor shower as well but for the past couple of night, nights it's been a bit cloudy so I haven't managed to get any footage of that which is a pity like because I like that sort of stuff it's interesting the way I look at it is you, we cannot be the only living thing in this in this universe like no way but that's another thing altogether so I'll just get these in Got a good soil on the top. And a little watering in. Always use fresh water as well when you're dealing with seeds. Don't use any water from the water butt because it's, it's no good. You need the uh, fresh water, so there's a little tip for you. Right, I'm going to put the kettle on because I'm choking now. See you in a bit. There's one other thing I want to do with the day as well. These parsnips. Now if you remember, I used me fid to put the holes in. And just one seed per hole, which was filled with fine compost and sand like mixture, you know, seed, seedling compost. So I'm going to dig it out because I'm curious to know how big it's actually going to be. Here we go, folks. I think I've just snapped it.
Oh, you have. Oh, what a pity. Not very big this year, like. I've had them bigger than that. They usually grow to the size of that. Still, it's a little bit too early for them. Anyway, I'll leave the rest of them in. But I, I've always grew me parsnips like that. I've never had any bother. When I see like some people chitting the parsnip seeds and that, I've, I've never even heard of that before. Like. Oh, well I cannot find that snapped bit anyway I'm gonna pull that carrot out today as well I'll tell you why later I'll see you in a bit now I don't know if you can remember when I planted this it was a, a, another demonstration it's the only carrot I've grew this year and the reason I did it and I was going to pull it up next week but there's a reason why I can't do that so I'm going to pull it up now just to see because I think this carrot's not as big as what it was because originally it was for the Rick Van Man's carrot challenge and there uh, I got a whopper uh, I've used the picture on me update uh, on me intros before so Dave at the allotment Dave what are you after this afternoon that massive carrot that's the one I grew just like this same again with the parsnips. Sink the feed right down and then fill it with fine sand or compost. Hey, not too bad, like not too bad. I remember last time it was a nightmare trying to get this out. Do want to snap this? Well, hey, not too bad. Look at that, straight as a die. And it's exactly the same size as the, the fit. Not bad. It just needed to thicken up a little bit. There's Paula ringing his so I better finish it off here. I'll catch you soon. Right, I'm just about finished. And my batteries are just about to run out. So I'll quickly run through what I've got today. My harvests of today. As some kale, I'm getting plenty of that. The cabbages are doing canny there. Not bad. All nice and firm. Plenty of broad beans. That's the last of my peas. There's about three and a half pound there. I've been getting these apples from up there, the empty garden. There's two kinds here. These are um, Granny Smiths, and I'm not sure what these ones are here, but they're lovely. They're small, but juicy and lovely. And there's my carrot. Quite long, not bad. There's my first tomato. Canny good. And I've got my first pickings of blackberries there. So I think on the weekend I shall make a apple and a blackberry crumble. Maybe he's put a bit of rhubarb in there as well. So we'll see what happens there. But just before I go out, I want to go and sit in the shed for five minutes and tell you what's happening next week. You're a clock. That's all you ever will be. All you've got is one hand, two hands. One hand's bigger than the other hand. So what are you? Some sort of freak? Sorry about that. I was just winding the clock up. Um, so, like I say... The reason I pulled out my carrot this week, it was usually, it was going to be my carrot, my birthday carrot. 
But next Saturday, I'm away. Paula's Tretters to a, a four day break in the Yorkshire Dales for me 40th birthday. So thank you very much Paula, I'm really looking forward to that. So there won't be no allotment video next week because I'll be in the Yorkshire Dales doing the steam train cruise thing and um, all that kind of thing. So I'll probably make a video on that. So until next time folks, once again, Thanks for commenting, liking and subscribing and I'll see you on the next one. I'm going to leave you with a little song. I haven't got my stupid gardening hat so I just have to do it without one on. See you next time folks. Bye for now folks, see you next time.